Hey guys, as you can tell, we are not in the shop today. We are back up at the play property. Now, last time we were up here, we built the pole barn mini shed. And now we're up here because we need to build the most important part of deer camp. And that is the buck pole. Now, where I've selected to put the buck pole was based on a couple of different things. So we're gonna put it right here. Now, up in that tree, you can see there's a light. I put a light up to help guide hunters in and out over here but what that's going to do is if you hang a deer at night you'll be able to kind of see what you're doing so i wanted it to be here the other thing was i wanted it to be inside the fenced in area just to keep critters kind of off of it and then the third reason that i put it here is because the drive-through gate is right there directly in line with it so when it's time to go you can drive back right up to it load it in the truck take off so that's what we're doing in this video we're building ourselves a buck pole let's get dusty all right, first things I need to do is I need to dig two holes nine feet apart because I'm gonna have this thing sitting nine feet wide. It's also gonna sit nine feet tall in case you're wondering. I'm using three treated 12 foot four by fours. So I gotta dig these two holes and I gotta set these posts and try to get them as straight and as level and as parallel as possible. Thank goodness I need to stop and make some breakfast because I thought I could dig two three foot deep holes with just a spade shovel. I let a friend borrow my post hole digger and I thought, yeah, that'll be fine, it's just two holes. Apparently, the play property is on bedrock because this is terrible. So I had to stop, make myself some breakfast because it is almost 12.30 and I was out in the woods all morning to hunt and look for deer. Didn't see anything, so I'm gonna finish eating and finish digging these terrible, terrible holes. So, uh, your holes are dug. Okay. So let's show you some things I gotta do on the ground before we put these posts in. So you can see on this board, I put these two scab boards on the top of it. Now the idea is because this board is gonna be nine feet in the air, I'm the only one here. So I have to make sure that I can control the wood as best as I can. So this post is gonna be in the ground, these scab boards will be up in the air. And the idea will be able to take the top post, say this is the top post, and set it in here without it sliding all over the place because I have to set it on one side, which will be the, hopefully if I'm right, the lower side, use the level to mark off the other side where it's level and hopefully take the board back down, tr trim that up and then attach everything. But just to make sure that this board, the top board doesn't go sliding all over the place, knocking off the ladder, cripple me while I'm around nobody we're gonna do this and then also before we go up and start hanging boards is I'm gonna prep as much stuff as I can on the ground so all of these corner boards which I already cut at the shop these are gonna have get pre-drilled holes in here and in here and then the top one I'm going to pre-drill the holes to go through here I'm also gonna pre-drill and add in the hooks while it's on the ground compared to trying to screw in the hooks when it's you know nine feet in the air measured out the posts I measured them that the nine foot was center to center but what I forgot was it's not center to center it's outside edge to outside edge so that put me off like five inches and then I thought maybe I can make it work with the hole being the size it is but my hole is about six inches too far this way so I get to dig another hole six inches well I'll just widen this hole bring it that over that way about six inches what is up with me I'm trying to dig holes here and screwing up and redigging things? So, getting posts level, I've always struggled with. I don't know why, I just do. So, I got the post up, I've got it loosely in there, I've got it leveled. I'm gonna pack around it a little bit. I'm gonna try to get this post set as level as possible, and then I'll allow all the adjustments we made on that post. That's that's the plan. 
at the moment. But again, I suck at setting posts. Here's the hole with no concussions. Someone forgot to bring a regular saw to cut this. So, I'm gonna chainsaw this nine feet in the air by myself. Got all my fingers and toes. Not a very straight cut, but it's straight this way. And that's the way you'll see. Probably should have brought a different saw. This hand winch, I got it off Amazon for like 20 bucks. It comes with a steel cable. I'm not gonna use this steel cable because I cheaped out and I didn't want to buy a bunch of pulleys and I don't want a bunch of steel on steel dragging. So I'm actually just gonna use rope. So I'm gonna pull the steel cable off of this and replace that with rope. I think first I'll end up attaching this to the side of the post. So normally with these hand winches, um, what I've noticed before is normally there's four mounting holes in the back plate that you can get to with you know, your impact or socket. And this one is gonna be very tricky. I think this is made for more for through bolts, not uh, lag screws, but I only have lag screws. So this should work for right now. Later on, I may have to pull this off and actually bolt it on. Hopefully not, but uh, we're gonna try this one this way. Well, it went on. Um, will it come off again? Don't know. I would recommend buying the Harbor Freight one because that one's got way better mounting plates. So I'm going to pull this cable off and replace it with some rope. On the shop exit I did, somebody suggested that I put my drill on the hand crank winch and then do it that way to bring my table up. I don't think that would work, but this I think is going to work. To... <laughs> that works pretty good. You're probably thinking to yourself, you have three upper hooks, one winch. What happens when you get more than one deer? First of all, you celebrate. And then let me show you what you do here. So these are what I'm going to be using. These deer spreaders are going to be using. I got these on Amazon for six bucks a piece. And I was going to build them, but the hardware alone would have been probably close to six bucks. And these are steel rated for 600 pounds. And I don't plan on shooting anything bigger than 600 pounds. So what you'll do. Clip around the carabiner. I was hoping this orange juice was going to hold on there really good, but. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, you'll have the deer hanging on this. This orange juice is your deer on the hanger, all right? You're going to crank her all the way up. And this part does kind of suck because you're up on a ladder, but I made these some chain with another carabiner. So slip that on, then you're gonna rehook your deer. With one hand, this is very difficult. So you're gonna rehook it here, and then when you go to re-lower your original, like your winch, that'll actually unclip when it's lowered. Ah, my finger! And then you'll swap it over to there. Therefore, you won't ever have to manually lift this, the deer up to there, and then that'll allow you to go over. I made two of these, maybe two, and then obviously your last one if you need three, which maybe one day, well, uh, you'll just leave it right hanging right there. If you're wondering, all the hardware on here is three eighths. That's the J hooks on the top, that's the I hook over here, that's all the lag bolts that I put, and everything is three eighths, and everything has been rated for well over 300 pounds, the rope included, so. 
if I shoot something over 300 pounds, we'll have a problem. That's the 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 rope. I think was 350, and I think that's the uh, the weakest point that would snap. But uh, that should be good enough for everything that I'm going to be hanging in here. Also, I am over 200 pounds, so. So I think I'll be fine. And just like that, this project is complete. Now this is the exact hangers that I bought off Amazon in case you were wondering. And now, that being said though, this project, it's about, I gotta get all back in the woods in about 20 minutes. So you can build this in between your two hunts, your morning hunt and your night hunt. Uh, those black brackets up in the corners, those were just seriously just for looks. They have no structural integrity at all. But wait a minute. Whoa, sorry to interrupt previous me, but I wanted to let you guys know that I did end up adding some pulleys up on the tops of those over there, and also just a quick little thing. It does work. So, back to previous me, showing you guys how I built this. But now I have this monstrosity in the, like, the whole fenced in area on the play property. What are we gonna do when it's not deer season? Watch this. In the off seasons, it's gonna be a hammock stand. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.